Hey guys, and welcome to AFI Explains. My name is Maddie. Whether you're a new or a longtime subscriber to our channel, we are so happy that you guys are tuning in to today's episode. Those who are familiar with our web store know that we offer many different ways to customize and filter your search for fragrances. And one of those filters is Fragrance Flashpoint. In chemistry, a volatile substance flashpoint is a temperature at which its vapor will combust when it's ignited. Volatile substances are liquids or gases that evaporate at room temperature when exposed to the atmosphere. So in our case, these volatile substances are fragrance oils. When a fragrance oil is left out without a lid or used in a product, its highly active molecules will disperse into the air. This is what allows us to smell fragrances the way that we do. Being volatile substances, fragrance oils have their own flash points. If a fragrance oil's evaporating vapor is exposed to ignition source at its flash point, it will combust into flames as long as the ignition source remains. Note that this is not the same as a fragrance's fire point. This is the temperature at which a substance's vapors will combust and stay combusted even without the presence of the initial ignition source. The fire point of a fragrance is a much higher temperature than the flash point of a fragrance. So why is it important to know a fragrance's flash point? For the most part, a fragrance's flash point is only important to know if it will be shipped via air or ground. Fragrances with a flash point of 141 degrees Fahrenheit or lower cannot be shipped via air due to the potential hazard that they may cause. Although the actual danger of low flash point fragrances is minimal, caution is still taken when it comes to aircraft safety. If you are an international customer, fragrances such as Wild Cherry or Citrus by AFI could not be shipped to you due to their low flash point. As such, knowing your fragrance's flash point is helpful, but not necessarily mandatory unless you're an international customer. However, there are some product types that require fragrances of a certain flash point to maximize safety and effectiveness. An example of this would be a gel wax. Gel wax is transparent and behaves differently than soy, paraffin, or other waxes. As such, gel wax manufacturers recommend fragrance oils used to make gel wax candles have a flash point of about 170 degrees or higher. Outside of these instances, the flash point of a given fragrance will present little to no importance in the making of your product. Many new candle makers worry that the temperature of the hot melted wax is too high to add to certain fragrances with a lower flash point. Fragrances with a low flash point will not combust when added to hot melted wax, even if the wax is above the flash point in temperature. Regardless of flash point, it is important to add the fragrance oil at a high enough temperature for the fragrance molecules to properly bind to the wax molecules. There is not enough fragrance or an adequate enough ignition source for the oil to combust when added to the hot wax. It should go without saying that proper precautions should always be taken when working with fragrances in spite of their flash point. Do not work around ignition sources like open flames and always ensure your workspace is well ventilated. All fragrance flash points can be found in the column next to fragrance type on the search page or on the safety material data sheet of the fragrance itself. If you have questions about one of our fragrances, don't hesitate to give our customer service department a call at 770-334-3906 or you can email us at info at afi-usa.com. Our representatives are always happy to help. I'm Maddie, and thanks so much for tuning in to today's episode of AFI Explains. If you want to learn more about the fragrance industry or a specific product type, check out the entire AFI Explains playlist for endless content just like this. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video to help support our channel. Well, I'll see you guys again really soon with more information about all things candle and fragrance. Bye!